So let's talk about mirrors and uh, how you can use it in Maven, right? So mirrors, uh, yeah, if you have uh, ever downloaded any particular uh, setup uh, or any, any file from internet, you must have uh, seen mirror links, right? So I think in my first video, when we were setting up Maven or uh, downloading it from the Maven official website, I showed you uh, there are some mirror links, right? Now, what are those? Uh, those are basically optional, uh, optional URLs, which you can use when a particular URL is not working. So similarly, for your repository, if you want to, you, if you want to have an optional uh, URL, so for example, you have a, a proxy server, which is mirroring uh, your repository manager, uh, your server, which is actually hosting that repository manager. So, and those are in two different locations. So now users uh, would like to use uh, a mirror link from where they can download much faster compared to the original server uh, where it is located, right? So um, there are other reasons also, like uh, you want to exclude some uh, repository. You don't want your users to uh, direct to that particular repository. So you want to uh, use a mirror of that repository. Uh, you want to redirect your users to some other repository. So for these reasons, we use mirrors. Now, how can we use them? Um, we basically have to go and change our settings.xml file from the Maven setup. Right now, how do we do that? We'll see. Now, these these are the uh, mirrors settings which we need to change. So we need to def uh, give an ID for the particular mirror uh, and the name. So it it will find uh, that particular repository or by the ID. Right. Uh, we need to also give the URL. Right. So this is our repository URL and then uh, the mirror off. So against what we are trying to mirror, right? Uh, so in this particular example, I have given star comma uh, not equals to equinexus. So in our previous example, we set up, uh, we were looking at a repository which was set up in Nexus and uh, its ID was equinexus, right? So I want to mirror uh, everything which is uh, denoted by star, which denotes everything, every other repository, right? I want to go, I want to redirect my users to this particular URL for all the other repositories, except the EQ Nexus, because that's one of my internal repository. So for an organization which has multiple repositories and you want to work with multiple repositories, you need to handle them with the help of mirrors. Now, how do we set it up, right? Now we can go to our Maven setup. And if you remember, we set it up under C folder and then uh, there are different subfolders in this, right? So you need to go to conf and there you will find your settings.xml file. Now this is uh, the file where all the configuration lies for your Maven, right? Now go ahead and uh, click on edit and you will see a lot of uh, information and documentation and most of the things are already commented. Now in this, you will find a section called mirrors. So as you can see, it is showing commented right now. So this is a list of mirrors to be used in downloading artifacts from remote repositories. Uh, POM may declare repository to use in resolving certain artifacts, right? And here is our mirrors tag. And if you see, our mirror is this, but it's, it's set to some default mirror, right? Uh, which we are obviously not using. Now, what, what you need to do is you need to use this information inside your settings.xml, right? Uh, replace this with what I have given. So now it's going to use this mirror for all kinds of repositories. 
whenever Maven tries to find uh, any dependency, uh, it's going to go into this URL, except for Equinexus because it's already internal repository. So we don't want to um, skip uh, that, but we want to skip all other uh, external repositories for our users. So this is how you set it up uh, within your organization uh, and you can use the repositories which are internal to your organization for managing all your dependencies, right? So that's all. And next we'll summarize and wrap it up.